Hi there, this tutorial will show you how to use the Advance Import tool in Geographic Imager. Advance Import provides useful settings that allow us to change the reference file or coordinate system, manage color channels, adjust image size or extents, and even mosaic our images together upon import. It is also useful for quickly cropping large images to a specific geographic area to reduce loading time. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to import two images varying in format, size, and coordinate system, and then mosaic them together. To get started, I am going to click the Advanced Import button on the Geographic Imager panel. In the Advanced Import dialog box, I want to navigate to the Format drop-down menu, and I am going to select GeoTIFF slash BigTIFF slash TIFF. Now I want to click the Add Image Source button. I'm going to navigate to the Tutorial Data folder and choose the Boston East TIFF image and click Open. You can always just press OK to ignore this warning. I can see now that information about the Boston East TIFF is displayed in the Image Sources list and shows that it has a Massachusetts Mainland Zone coordinate system and an 800 by 800 pixel image dimension. Now I'm going to go back to the format drop-down list and select ECW and again click Add Image Source. Now I want to import the Boston West ECW file. Again I can see that information about the Boston West file is displayed in the list and shows that it has no coordinate system and a 650 by 650 pixel image dimension. I'm going to use the advanced import options to make these two images compatible so that they can be used in a mosaic. First I want to double click the Boston West ECW image source. In the georeferencing section I'm going to select the same as checkbox and select the Boston East TIFF from the drop down menu. I can see that the coordinate system is updated to Massachusetts Mainland Zone in the file list for Boston West ECW. Next I'm going to change the image dimensions for the GeoTIFF image by entering a resample value. I can do this by double clicking that image source and clicking the resample button. With the keep aspect ratio button enabled I'm going to change the width to 650 and I can see that the height has also been changed to keep the aspect ratio. And I can click OK. I can now see that the dimensions column values have been updated to reflect the resample size that I just entered. Lastly, I want to set up the mosaic option so that the files can be mosaic together. At the bottom of the dialog box, I'm going to click the Mosaic All Files to the Destination Document checkbox. The Boston East TIFF file is shown in the drop-down list and will be the destination document for the mosaic. I can leave all the other options at their defaults and click OK to finish the advanced import process. And there we go. You can see here that the two image formats are now mosaic together to create one seamless image. This is a similar result to a workflow that would have required you to open the images separately, adjust the coordinate system, change the image size, and then create a mosaic. In the Layers panel, you can notice that there is just one layer after the mosaic operation, which happened because we set the layer organization in the Advanced Import dialog box to merge all layers. I hope this tutorial was helpful and have a great day.